And today's Celtic FC news on the One in Celtic Fans news channel. Never thought I'd see the day where I'd have to put a timestamp on my videos. Anyway, in today's news, oh, and by the way, if you haven't been on the channel before, if you want to click on the channel, click on videos, click on sort, click on add oldest, and then if you skip down and you go back to the oldest video, Celtic video that I've done, which was 11 years ago. Anyway, on to today's news in the One Celtic Fans news channel. Angie Postel Coglu must unleash Karamoko Dumbelli tonight versus St Mirren. What do you think? With Karamoko Dumbelli's Celtic contract about to expire at the end of the season, and it's yet to believe that the winger has not signed a new deal with Celtic, there's growing uncertainty surrounding the 19 year old's immediate future at Parkhead. Indeed, the under 18 England international is yet to play a competitive fixture under the Celtic management of Angie Postacoglu. It's something that's largely been, you know, it's one of those things, he got a really bad injury in pre-season for Celtic, and questions are now being asked whether the teenager is part of the 56-year-old Celtic manager's plans in the long term. This question was put to Angie Postacoglu, the Celtic manager, yesterday, and his response was, in pre-season, it looked like, he was looking forward to working with the young player. People need to remember that it was an ordinary tackle that really set him back. He's worked really hard to get his fitness back. He is now available. We just haven't found the right time to give them the opportunity. But we will give him the opportunity between now and the end of the season. What do you think, Celtic fans? Should you vote thumbs up and tell me in the comments, should Karamoka Dombele be playing tonight it is a game where we would need the three points to stay in front at the top of the league with James Forrest not doing so great should we bring Dumbelli in and give him a start from the start I think we should probably should definitely be on the bench these fixtures you know at Celtic are all about winning at this time of the season it's the money end of the season for Celtic the Celtic manager went on to say he's been really he's been in the squad the last couple of games. He'll be in the squad tonight, and obviously he's missed a lot of football. So we need to be really careful about when we want to bring him back into the team. He's an exciting young player, and our style of play should suit him. So hopefully he has an impact and he can help us. Would you like to see Dumbelli play for Celtic tonight against Saint Mirren? And give me your Give me your score predictions for tonight's game against St. Mern. As such as Postacoglu himself is suggesting that he's waiting for the perfect opportunity to let Dembele loose in the first team. Should tonight be the night? This is a question that, that's all getting asked around the world by Celtic fans. Indeed, with James Forrest having failed to find any level of form so far this season. And in addition to, to Abada, you know, we've got a game... To forget about against Hibernian at the weekend, we really need to get a game where we get back up to speed. Young Dumbelli's on two grand a week. Ruth Hulett says he's an exceptionally good player, but how many exceptionally good players have we seen at Celtic that have moved on to do absolutely nothing? Look at Paddy Roberts for one. It's an outcome that everyone at Celtic would love to see resolved sooner rather than later. You know, it's a player that we should have playing for us. In other news, all kinds of mayhem and, and oh, what can you say? The news broke yesterday and, you know, it has been confirmed that Rangers are playing. I'm not going to say too more about it because there's been all sorts of nonsense written about it. Everything that is wrong with football is that game as far as I'm concerned. It is a winter break. That's all I was saying on it. The news did break exactly one o'clock yesterday. Um... That's all I've got to say about it. Anyway, in other Celtic news, there isn't much more going around today. The, the, everything that I'm looking at, all the Celtic news channels that I'm looking at, all the Celtic blogs I'm looking at, it's all the uproar with Celtic playing Sevco in Australia. And on that note, I hope you have a great day. Have a safe journey to the football tonight. Make sure you watch this video either on your way to the football or before the football this evening. What time is it? We need to do another time check. 
just to be sure that people know what time I'm doing these videos at. Yep, it is 22 in the afternoon. Have a great day, Celtic fans, and I shall see you on the next one. <laughs>